Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a long-awaited Max Hex, even though it's a short one. It's uh, pretty useful for anybody that's a graphic designer or digital artist of some sort that spends a lot of time in design programs. Now, what I mean by Penflix, to those that don't know what it is, oh, it's these guys. Whenever you tap your stylus on your tablet, you get these little circles that tell you, you know, your cursor's here. Another thing it is, is it's part of Windows Touch Interface, which is there installed by default, and it's usually a memory hog. Most people don't care it's there because they usually don't use the tablet. So they never see the touch input stuff, even though Windows has it installed and the services are running. But pen feedback is this. That. Let me tell you, it gets uh, pretty annoying if you leave it on by default and you're trying to work in Photoshop or Sketchbook Pro, or Paint Tool Sci, or any of the other myriad of applications related to that. Now, first step, get rid of pen feedback. We're gonna go under your group policy settings, and we're gonna go down to the edit group policy, open that up. Now, you could just do it under computer configuration, and that generally will get rid of it for all users. We're just gonna go down to Computer Configuration, Administrator Templates, Windows Components. And we're going to scroll down to Tap PC, go to Cursors, open that up. And we're going to double click on Turn Off Pen Feedback. By default, set to Non Configured. And we're going to go to Enabled. Press OK. And if you click around, it's no longer there. So that's step one. Step two is we're going to go under Flex. We're going to click that. That in the control panel is known as pen and touch. You could search for pen and touch in the start menu or flakes. Either one will get to the same spot. Now we're going to uncheck because by default use flakes will be enabled. So uncheck that and then uncheck display flakes in the notification area. Press apply. Then we go under pen options. Go to press and hold. Go to settings. And disable that where it says enable press and hold for right clicking. And press OK. Apply. And just for the sake of brevity, and because I can't stand the pen and touch input stuff, I just uncheck everything. Press OK after pressing Apply. Voila! Now you will not be disturbed while painting your digital boobs, or digital wing, whatever your preference is, or, I don't know, maybe you're painting a building, and all of a sudden, Microsoft's input decides to give you a little swirly doodad and screw up a ton of work. Happens. Now the final step. We're going under AppWiz, which is your programs and features control panel. Yes, that's a convoluted way of going about it, but it's the way I've been doing it for 15 years, maybe, maybe more. It's the force of habit. Now go under Turn Windows Features on and off. Now I already have it uninstalled, but you'll see Tablet PC Components. It will be by default be checked. Uncheck it, press OK, Windows will uninstall the services, uninstall the components, and then it's going to ask you to restart. You give it a restart, and that's that's everything there to disable Penflix. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy, but damn is it annoying if it's enabled on. I mean, it doesn't bother, like I said, it doesn't bother the average user who doesn't use tablets, it doesn't doesn't do any R on the PC, if they're just browsing the internet and just use the standard mouse, they will never see it ever in their life. Well, that's everything for this Max Hacks. Uh, thank you for watching. Do email me any questions about this or any other related videos at max at ticksyndicate.com. Also, in the comments area, leave me any ideas for future videos you guys want to see. I'm curious what you guys want to see because I can do a lot of videos, which I will be doing a lot of harder videos, a lot of strange videos about creating your own electronic devices such as your own joystick. I know we've all seen the how-to's, but they're usually just pictures. I actually will go through and do a nice little how-to for that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a good evening.